The children in Shanti Bhavan don't talk about caste. We tell them right from young age, from the age of four, that caste is not a God-given thing, it's a man's creation to oppress others. And though they go home during the vacation and see how they live and how people discriminate, they learn to live in those two different worlds. I always knew I wanted this to be a long-term project. What I was most drawn to was the expectation that the school had on the kids. They expect the kids to not only lift themselves out of poverty, but their families, their communities, and at least 100 other people in their lifetime. I was really fascinated to find out what the psychological and emotional impacts were from all the burdens and the pressures they had on them and opportunities they have. Um, they live in these two worlds. One is the world they came from, which is uh, absolute poverty and then the school where we are trying to transform their lives and make them successful and good human beings. I think of this series as a film um, and each episode is really just one part. So after you watch the four episodes, that's really when you feel the, the full effect of these kids growing up and seeing what has become of them. I feel very lucky that I got selected to come and receive an education at Shanti Bhavan because only one child is taken per family. But actually my mother didn't want me to come. She told my father that I don't care if I have nothing to feed up, I want her to stay with me. And it was actually my father's decision to let me go. I don't think the world knows about, uh, about the people that this film depicts. Uh, sure, there have been films on some, some episode or something like that, but this is seven years of uh, tracking their lives. But I realized in making this film that these kids at Shanti Bhavan, they are empowered already, and they are advocates for themselves. So they didn't need me to, to be that for them. What they did need is a place and a chance to be the owners of their own narrative. Uh, to be the voice that we haven't heard and that we haven't known. And my job was really to amplify that. It's been transformative in the work that I do. My mother knows that we learn many things. It's also used to treat common cold. So she thinks that I know more than her because she herself is illiterate and she never went to school. So when I learn things, I speak to her about what we did in class. And I try to explain what things are going on in the outside world other than what she knows. Watching the lives of these young people unfold over the years was a way to really look at issues like poverty, discrimination, girls' rights, women's rights, gender roles, education, and social justice. And there's this really just beautiful, beautiful feeling at the end of the series where you've watched these kids grow up and you realize that they really do have a chance to change the course of history. What I hope that people get out of watching this series is that Every single person in this world has a right to their dignity and should have every opportunity possible. It is very important for the world to see what is possible and how it must be done. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that the way we have brought them up, they have that desire to reach out to others. It's very exciting that uh, the school and the girls um, in the program are recognized by the Television Academy. It's a great honor. To be recognized by the Television Academy for a series that has had global social impact is really a profound honor for us because it's really and truly why we made it.